we have an update via Man United regarding the extremely frustrating Paul Pogba situation, which keeps on rumbling on and on and on and on. Some interesting developments, right? So I guess most of you are aware that just after we beat West Ham, we came back from 1-0 down to beat them 3-2. Paul Pogba scored a pretty decent goal, maybe more than a decent goal from about 30 yards, 35 yards out, I'd say, side foot um, bender, you know, it, it, it effectively hit the inside netting it was that good right such a good shot and basically showed us what he can do when he's playing to the levels that he can play and given a freedom to obviously express himself blah 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 soon after Mino Raiola his superstar or his super agent who kind of represents some of the brightest uh, talent that exists out in world football decided to come out and essentially um declare that Paul Pogba had to leave the club you know we weren't going anywhere um he's not gonna stay and just you know essentially kicked the horn its nest and just kicked up a whole lot of fuss on social and just you know essentially got my United fans all around the country around the world completely frustrated and angry at the situation and for the most part Paul Pogba didn't come out and refute the claims he short stayed silence which you know basically told us that hey that story is basically true you know usually silence is a confirmation nowadays which I can definitely attest to and the fact that Paul Pogba did tell us a few months back or maybe was it a month a few months back or a year back when we were in China or something and he had that interview for the Adidas I think he was doing some Adidas promotion and he was asked about his future and he said yeah I want a new challenge I want to go somewhere else so he's told us quite categorically he wants to move um, and he sees himself going somewhere else to compete for titles or whatever maybe who cares he wants to go but the club have obviously decided that they don't want to let him go if they do they're going to have to get a world record fee for him that's what basically you're seeing because i think we could all agree that our transfer activity has been pretty diabolical and i think man united along with ed woodward have been embarrassed numerous times in the transfer market um you know i just look at the affair that happened with who was it recently with Harry Maguire, I think it might have been. Was it Harry Maguire where we kind of tried to haggle the price down, but eventually ended up paying whatever they wanted to pay anyway? Maybe it was Lukaku. I forgot who it was, but definitely somebody. We're not really good at transfers. So it seems like the club are going out of their way during this cultural reset to make sure that we sell our players for what exactly what they're worth and not a penny more and not a penny less. So Pogba, unfortunately, was priced out. I think of a few moves. I think there was a Barcelona offer that came through that was derogatory prior as well during that time. So he's essentially been told to, hey, unless you get an offer for you, you're going to see how your contract is club. And then, of course, as we do in all our contracts, I think we installed this sort of like one year it automatically one year trigger extension when you come towards the end of your two years I think of it you know, I'm not sure what it is how it works out but there's an extension that you automatically get so that means that he's got basically another 18 months at the club um, or he walks for free which is then putting more pressure on United to sell him so all in all just a whole sit service situation um and from what I've seen online of what I kind of read on listened to on podcast it seems that behind the scene Pope is like obviously somewhat tapped out right he somewhat decided that hey my future definitely lies outside of united and it's definitely started to affect his training it's definitely started to affect his application and it's definitely started to affect his overall demeanor around the club people have said he sort of changed he sort of slumped in his shoulders and definitely looks like a player the, the classic signs of a player that kind of wants to leave um uh, and you know his reasons for leaving are you know are whatever his reasons are but the interesting part of it i think is someone said that I think it might have been on the Duncan Castles podcast, a transfer window, a really good one, right? He said that he's heard from somebody or somebody's interpreted the situation as when Pogba came back, he never actually wanted to come back to United. He actually wanted to go to Barcelona or Real Madrid or one of those clubs, right? So United was sort of like his fourth option. He wanted to either have a contract extension at Juve, either go to one of the big two Spanish sides, um, Man City, I guess was the third option, and then to come United. When the Juve contract extension didn't happen because I think they needed the money, so they accepted the public bid. And of course, Real Madrid and Barcelona at the time didn't want to pay whatever Man United paid, and Man City the same, right? So that only left him with one option, and he had to. And then you know, Juventus accepted our bid because it was the best bid they were going to get in that window. And he decided, hey, why not? Let's go back and see what I can do and prove them wrong. But there was always a bit of ill feeling in Pogba's heart because he felt that he was done wrong by the club in general when he first left. Because if you remember back then, that was when Alex Ferguson was refusing to play him because he wouldn't sign a new contract. But he went, he wouldn't sign a new contract too. He got more playing time. So we kind of left in a sort of like stalemate. And then Alex Ferguson kept playing people like Raphael and Jusan Park in the centre midfield, right? And I can imagine like, me as well because I remember I was, I was following the youth team a lot during that time and I was watching Pogba play for the reserves. And I just thought, this guy is like a 
like he's a beast he's so good right um so effortless so uh, majestic on the ball left foot right foot can play in you know, he was a little bit he was much more dynamic when he was younger i think maybe when he's just got older he sort of kind of rested into his sort of preferred position of maybe playing a little bit more in a bit more of a luxurious role he doesn't have a many commitments he did in the past but when i remember him playing for the reserves or playing for you know the under whatever they may be he was a lot more dynamic he used to cover every blade of grass get in the tackle um of course tenacity just just he was great to watch especially in youth team games right imagine seeing what a young imagine imagine what it must be like seeing a young paul pogba strut any stuff in the youth leagues so the feeling is that he kind of obviously um you know has a lot of has a lot of love for the club and he really took it personally when Sags Ferguson basically made him surplus for requirements and picked the likes of Jason Park and Rafa ahead of him because he wouldn't sign a new contract and it never really it was kind of a it was always a bit of a it's a bad taste in his mouth so when he came back he came back with some hesitation but he went to kind of like you know set the record straight and then of course it hasn't really worked out as he would have hoped especially with under the current ownership and it seems like it never will work out with the current ownership, especially with the coach we have in the place now at the moment, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who's definitely um, not at the level that we need to get back to where we want to be. If we want to be a top four club, you keep Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, right? He's gonna, he's basically proven that he can do that. If you want to win the league and you want to potentially, you know, challenge for the Champions League, he's not the guy. He's proven that as well. We got locked out. You know, we haven't won the league since he's been here. It is what it is. But Pope has obviously had, you know, is feeling he's doubting what's going on but it's interesting to see now that Mina has come out and essentially backtracked not backtracked he's been squirming a little bit regarding the comments and this again might corroborate some of the stories we hear about Pogba on the transfer window podcast and this is the screenshot here from or oh, just the actual tweet here from uh united zone uh regarding minerola quoted as saying the following minerola about pogba he says i was talking about next summer so when you've made that first comment it's very difficult to see big clubs making these kinds of transfers in january we will see what happens next summer so obviously he's saying that because i guess maybe his client's upset with him or because he's you know responding to the backlash but regardless it's interesting to see him somewhat backtrack on his original comment and i think it's also interesting because we've now got a, a kind of insight into what the real issue is for pogba is that he doesn't really have anywhere to go this reminds me a little bit similar to the Lionel messi uh situation Lionel messi sort of declared he went to leave barcelona because of the ownership and because of the direction of the club he wants to have a new challenge um cool but then he was put in a position by the club where they essentially backed him into a corner and said, unless you go and strike, we are not going to let you go for unless we, you know, we uh, we get an offer in for this amount. Because I think he's meant to leave in a free, but there was some complication with his contract and they found a loophole, which essentially meant if he went to leave Barcelona, they had to get a bid above 500 million, which obviously is ridiculous, right? No one's going to pay that in this market at the moment. So they backed him into a corner, which meant the only way he could leave is if he went on strike and refused to play for the club. And he's obviously never going to do that, right? Barcelona were the team that essentially, you know, um, brought him over from Argentina, paid for his medical bills and essentially made them, allowed them the platform to become the superstar that he is now at the moment. So, you know, if anything, he owes them um, the, he owes them the gratitude of leaving without that much fuss, but he's put put into a corner where he's essentially having to play his contract at Barcelona for another season and then decide where he wants to go next season. The same thing for Paul Pope in a similar way, just because of the market he's being priced out, the level of Paul Pope as a player, the fact that he won the World Cup with France, the fact that everyone knows what he's done prior to you at Juve, the fact that Man United are a mess, so people can generally say, hey, you can even though he's 27 and he should be showing more at the moment than he is showing uh on a consistent basis if he does play blah you know whatever exceptions that exist there are people that out there that can easily say we could easily count Man United out because it's a mess right look at what Mourinho's doing at Tottenham look at how he you know didn't really work well at United there's obviously something going on with the club all together that's sort of affecting these stellar names so he could definitely attribute himself to that but unfortunately there just doesn't seem to be a market out there for him, like a club willing to pay the transfer fee that he's obviously going to command. So he's sort of left in a weird position, right? If he carries on, if he carries on playing that way he's been playing in the last two or three games, he's obviously going to um, court the attention of some big, cl some big clubs because there's not a lot of players at Pogba that exist on the market. 
that's the one thing he's got in his favour. Even though he might have not pulled up as much trees as people want him to, there's still not a lot of players with his sort of profile. The closest thing to him at the moment on the world market is maybe a Kamavinga, who hasn't really proven anything, you know, and the, you know, on a big level for a consistent period of time because he's young and he's like 19 or something. But there's not a lot of those players that exist, right? Tall, athletic, um, mobile-ish, two-footed midfielders who can play in various positions they don't really exist in that regard um there's obviously that kid at ix um so there's not a lot of them so he's got that in his favor but also the price range like who's going to pay for him so i guess that's me and way of saying that hey i know i spoke i probably spoke too soon because no one's going to come in from in january it's just not going to happen january there's not a lot of business that happens anyway because the better clubs don't want to let go of their better players because they're usually in the latter stages of cup competitions or title or league challenges right the last thing they want to do is you know um sell their talisman or their you know uh rock center back or whatever or their you know majestic goalkeeper they don't want to do that um next quote from me is the following Pogba will have a great future. In England, they were very sensitive when he talked about Pogba. I've just expressed my thoughts. I've said that Pogba can leave in the summer. It's hard to do top deals in January. Now, the other thing they mentioned, I think, is that supposedly Pogba behind the scenes isn't happy with Raiola, not because of what he says, but because his um, inability to get a deal done for him to go to his next club. He feels as if Mina could have done a bit more to secure his signature to another club or force the club into a position where they have to kind of let him go. But I guess, you know, smartly in United's case, because Pogba as well has been professional he hasn't necessarily you know apart from the sulking on the training ground and not ap applying himself he hasn't turned up late he's not refusing to play he always makes himself available um, so those things are obviously helping his case uh, are kind of no, those things are obviously helping his situation, helping United more so because they get obviously to hold on to him because he's not a bad influence in change room. But for himself, selfishly, he's not obviously being put in position where he can move. So there is a feeling behind the scenes that probably isn't happy about Raiola's um, ineffectiveness of getting him a move, especially when he's been so vocal about leaving. So let's see what happens, man. Again, um, I think as a fan, I would much prefer if he just comes out and say, hey, I'm willing to give this another year and then I want to leave. Just openly, plainly just says it. I think that be fine i think football memories are short i think everyone forgot about that original interview that he did in china so people don't really know what his actual thoughts are obviously he doesn't owe the fans he doesn't owe the fans act somewhat because the whole reason why you have an agent is so they can speak on your behalf um especially to the club so maybe that's if if minerola says what he says we have to just take it as Pablo's word but it would be nice to hear that from him just say categorically look this club is great so it's, it's always going to be in my heart i love it all my heart i'm a true professional i'm never going to not apply myself but i do see myself in another place with another challenge but for the time being I'm going to apply myself in the same way that Ronaldo did right when he went to leave and so as Ferguson told him hey just give us another year right we end up winning the Champions League I think that year before he left in it so if he can do that or something along those kind of lines I think he would definitely do go a long way to sort of I wouldn't say mending a relationship with some fans because I think some fans just have it out for him regardless because he's young flashy and potentially black that might be an issue but in general i think for the football fans in general it'd be nice to see that happening and kind of that chapter close to some certain extent but hey that's all we can hope for